What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we're just back with a quick one here. We're going to be taking a look at what's coming Monday. Short and sweet, let's get straight into it. So we obviously know that we are going to be getting new events because of these events that are going to be ending here. This tournament event is going to be ongoing for the foreseeable for the next 30 days. This one is not it here with the events. That's a completely separate thing with the tournament. But these events here, we do know that the co-op will end tomorrow. That always seems to end. Now, there are a couple of rumors that they will leave co-op in, especially because they have this one in as well. But we'll see. We'll see what happens, whether they reset that or not. Everything else is still going to be ongoing. And of course, this is going to be ending as well the national teams there. So expect another event just to be rinse and repeat. E-Football League, everything like that. The match pass obviously is only brand new. So that's going to stay the same. It's mostly going to be cards and it's mostly going to be a couple of objectives and stuff like that, as well as the rest of the login bonuses and the daily game and all that. So we will be starting here with these new cards. We know on Monday now, again, I'm not going to talk too much about this because it's, it's kind of the same rinse and repeat the last couple of months for it but i do feel as if this is going to change with eFootball 2025 i will do a video on that quite soon but the phenomenal pass the j league and the encore stars are also going to be there with the national team selection and the worldwide selection but i do think that we might possibly get another player of the week with these epics i think they'll release a second pack with this epic uh, pack here i could be wrong but all of these nominating contracts they will add second nominating contracts because they are going to be doing a volume two of this season, which is the king of the continent. So expect maybe two other big time players like Messi and Griezmann. Some people are saying that it could be, and it's been rumored, you know, I've heard a couple of rumors that it could be a Spain pack. Um, and also, also a Germany pack that are going to be coming with these packs here. But who knows? I mean, obviously, there are a couple of omissions here. You've got Argentina and France's premium. So they might add two other premium packs here. Obviously, they've got partnerships with these two. But England, Portugal, Turkey and Brazil. There is a couple of omissions there, including Germany, who had a brilliant start to the Euros. You also have Spain, who had a brilliant start to the Euros. Croatia are there. A lot of people would probably like Croatia with a Modric card. And of course, you do have a couple of like other teams as well, like Netherlands and teams like that. So it does remain to be seen. But we do know what we're going to be getting. And I'm also going to talk about a couple of rumors and new players that have been added as well. Because obviously, we do know that this epic is going to be uh, taken out. And for people that are wondering, it looks like we are going to be getting finally Maradona and Pirlo back. Now, a lot of people, listen, lads, this is where this is where it is, man, right? Some people, you know, will definitely 100% spin for Pirlo. People that maybe haven't spun in a while. And this is what it's all about, man. This is the thing. If you open these packs, you know, obviously it's all about just getting your favorite player, you know. And some people will just wait and wait and wait, save up, save up, save up, and then put in a bit of money to guarantee that they get one of their favorite cards. I think if they're releasing these cards in eFootball 2025... I 100% think there should be some way of grinding, whether that's like with a specific badge that you'll be able to earn, even if it takes you like a month, if it takes you a month to be able to grind a card like it was with Beckenbauer, I think people would really appreciate that. But Maradona, Pirlo and Xabi Alonso look set to be coming. And I know that this Pirlo is probably, some people are saying he's not going to be the best version. I honestly don't think Maradona is going to be any better than, uh, you know, the current Maradona who's been ripping it up. Or, of course, the new Griezmann, who I'm a massive, massive uh, fan of as well. They will, be, they will be coming with this selection here. So you've got a mix of a selection here, which are midfielders, national team midfielders. As I said, with this selection that you have in here, you've got Sabazalai from Hungary. You've got Spain, Zubimendi. You've got uh, Gilmore. You've got Carrasco. You've got, you know, you've got Belgian players. You've got Polish players. You've got a big selection here and a mix of other national team players that didn't get a premium pack. So maybe they'll go this route instead of releasing, you know, a Spanish premium pack. Maybe they'll just bring a couple of selection uh, selected players out. And I also do think that they are going to do player of the weeks instead of the domestic leagues. They're going to do it for the Euros and the Copa America. So it is going to be interesting to see that. Now, I also want to touch on these two, right? We do know we are going to be getting Maradona and Pirlo and Javi Alonso with all like that is basically what's up in the database right but i also want to talk about this so we do have new epics now shout out to Sa sapo pez on this on twitter um somebody sent me this on discord we did get a look at some of these cards that have been added to the database so these seem to be new uh boosters of of kind of cards that are already out or, new, or legends that are already out so we know that we got iniesta not too long ago we know that we got rui costa a while back donadoni a while back burkham for a while back these seem to be different boosters, right? A couple of ones to probably get like a little bit excited about is Platini, Varane, Fletcher, and of course, England's Beckham there as well. Beckham? I don't know why I call him that. But David Beckham there with the skin head, uh, the shaved head looks pretty decent. You've got a new Totti, Inzaghi, Del Piero, Baggio, and Pirlo. 
they all seem to be the guys from the pack, obviously, of the Italian selection. You've got Frank Lampard and Beckham. You've got Fletcher and Scholes that are going to be Manchester United ones. So they'll probably be next Mondays. I would say they will be next Mondays. And probably, I would say as well, with Fletcher and Scholes, you're probably going to get a card that was released before um, on the database, but that hasn't been out yet. You know what I mean? That hasn't released. Like Tony Adams is one that springs to mind if they do kind of like an uh, an epic uh, England select English selection. But Platini, Varane, of course, Varane hasn't been in the game as a legend I don't think since he retired, so correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Rummy's going to be getting a new card. Obviously, Pirlo's going to be coming out as well. And then we also have new Roy card Van Basten and Hullet. Again, seems to be tying it in with the national team selections. So I reckon they're going to do these national team selections uh, over the next couple of months, right? Perez is probably going to be the third one there. So you've got Fletcher, Scholes and Perez. That would probably be the English pack. You've also got Romario there. You've got a brand new Czech. You've got Makalele. You've got Maradona, who we're going to be getting this week. Xavi Alonso, who we're going to be getting on Monday, tomorrow. But Xavi Raul and Xavi Alonso are going to kick off the Spain selection. Hollet Van Basten and Rijkaard are going to kick off the Dutch Netherlands selection. So yeah, they're all the new cards. When they come out, we don't know, but they could drop as well. I think they'll want to try and get out a lot of these packs before eFootball 2025. So that is it for me, lads. Let me know what you guys think. I will do a video on all upcoming new boosters as well and take a look at deep dive at their stats and stuff if you want to let me know. Uh, we have do we do need to speak about Gareth Bale as well, but let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the live stream tomorrow. Talk to you then.